A Precious Little Devil Chapter 21 Francesca The two priests explained to the four of us in great details who Marcel was and what he was doing. It sounded like a nightmare to be murdered by a demon just for brownie points. When we left the church, it was lunchtime. We went to our favorite pizza place, but I had a salad instead. Dandy sat in the booth between Bree and Todd. She wouldn't touch her food and look very sad. What's wrong? Bree asked her. He was my friend, Dandy said. Axel opened his mouth to disagree, but I elbowed him. I didn't think telling a little kid that she'd been possessed by a mass murderer was a good idea. We're your friends too, I said. Are we good enough? She looked at us and nodded. Yes, but Marcel liked being inside me. He said so. The four of us laughed until our sides hurt. We knew that Dandy didn't understand what was so funny, but she didn't seem upset. I hadn't been looking forward to the party at all. After dealing with Marcel and his foolishness, I convinced myself that there were worse things than a bunch of loud, rambunctious rugrats. I don't have any proof, but I'm almost 100% sure that Marcel has something to do with that pile up on the highway. All of those poor people probably killed just so he could save his own ass. The priest assured me that it was unlikely that we'd run into him again. I talked Georgia into buying more Bibles. I hid one in every room in all the cars. On the Monday following the party, I looked up at the sky and noticed that the clouds looked odd. They looked to form the shape of a skull and crossbones. The image of Marcel flashed in my mind. A snake was sitting on his shoulder. Both of them were laughing.